In this demonstration video, I will show you how to work with the input and output registers on the multi display. We have a setup here with one Modbus master and one Modbus slave. As you can see upon startup, all registers of all points they contain zero except for the type unit and parameter register that contains 3993, indicating that the Modbus master is not writing to that register. When I now change the value of point 1 on the slave display, and I enter for instance 56, you can see that this value is read by the Modbus master and the info register is set to 1, indicating to the Modbus master that there has been local user input. Now I can confirm this value to the Modbus slave display and that one resets the info register immediately to zero indicating that the, to the master that it has received that value. Now I can also say no I don't like this 56 it's way too high I want it to be 48 and as you can see my point value here gets 48 because uh, of the register info register being zero still. Now if the user enters a value that is too high say that he enters 154, but we don't approve of this value, we can overwrite this value and say no, the maximum is 100, so I'll write 99, and currently this value that I'm writing 99 from my master is not displayed on the display. I still read the user input 154, that is because the info register is still at 1, effectively locking the value, so as soon as I write 0 to this register from my Modbus master, the master value will be displayed here. I'll reset the display now so that we start from 0 again. Another way to validate inputs by your Modbus master is by hiding the local input altogether. Now I will set the type unit and parameter register then the seventh bit to one. Now I am hiding the local input so whatever value I write 45, 78, these values are stored and read by the Modbus master yet not displayed here. Now what I will do I will now approve this 78 and as you see Immediately I get a value here because my Modbus master is writing it. So if I'm writing 99 and this register, the info register stays at zero as long as there is no local input. If I now have another local input, say the user wants 45, I don't see it here. I can read it on my master side and I say okay 45 is approved and it's immediately shown on the display. Another thing that I can do there while we are speaking of this parameter divider and unit register is if I add one for instance and I can make this as a temperature so I will add one and you can see now I have it degrees Celsius here. Also for instance adding a 256 will enable a divider by 10 so if I go again and change this value, now you can see that I have a 4.5 degrees Celsius, even though I didn't put that in the initial setup of the uh, slave display. Now if I enter a value here, say that I want 22.8, I send 22.8 to the master, master says 22.5 is enough, and my set point is displayed 